Hey YouTube, Jeremy 2000 here, coming at you with uh, an unboxing here. Uh, sorry, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I've just been real busy with uh, uh, work and some new training, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna continue to be busy for the next couple months, but uh, uh, but yeah, I want to just get a get a little video out. Um, I'm still still here. Uh, I've yeah, I got behind in videos. Haven't done an airport update in a while. I did I did end up sending up my airport for Houston IAH. So eventually I'll do an airport update off of that because why let it go to waste? Then uh, I like to also do Charlotte and some other ones. But uh, but recently I've gotten some new models. Uh, here's the ones I've gotten. Uh, we got a couple Aviation 400s, uh, some Gemini's, and uh, Jet X, some interesting stuff. And uh, and yeah, but uh, for now we got a few models here. First of a few on order. And um, yeah, I should have more coming. Uh, coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Sorry, I've been busy with training. But, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of new stuff going on. And, uh, man, yeah, really exciting. And, uh, and yeah. But, uh, it's, uh, it requires lots of attention, so. So, yeah. But, uh, nice little break from that. I'm home this week, so. Here we go. First off here. Ooh. Ordered these a little while ago, as everything pre-orders, they always take forever. Got an invoice. These are from Diecast Airplane Store. And uh, two models here. Yep. We got the General Jets American Eagle E-170 in the American Eagle Retro livery, operated by Envoy. And the engine models, United 777-200ER in the Starline livery. So, let's get them opened up. Now, I almost forgot to mention it, but I do have a promo code for you guys for a uh, retailer, which they sell Gemini Jets, NG models, all the all the good stuff. Um, uh, West Coast Diecast are up in Canada, and um, yeah, you can get five percent off using code uh, GJ two thousand one word. Uh, no capitals, and uh, they do ship to the U.S. Uh, but you can get five percent off with that. So if you're in Canada, uh, that can be a good deal. We're also here in the U.S. too. They ship down here. So uh, West Coast Diecast, code GJ2000, and, and a link will be in the description. But uh, first off here, we got the American Eagle E-170. I guess here's the box, normal box, nothing nothing special. Um, uh, Envoy, they've got a few of these in their fleet. Um, not a ton, not as many as the regular E-175s, but uh, uh, a cool plane, I think. Um, yeah, cool. Cool livery, nice that they have this retro livery. Uh, along with that, American has their retro 737 in the in the regular American uh, livery, uh, old livery. But uh, but yeah, we'll just do a quick review here, and we'll get onto the United. Check out MV's new 777 mold. But uh, first off, this actually Gemini just did it. Looks like a really good job. Uh, the wing flex and everything's actually pretty perfect. It's just uh. Not too much dihedral, and uh, yeah, beautiful American Eagle. Uh, registration number November uh, seven six zero Mike Quebec. You got the eagle on the tail there. Absolutely beautiful. And this is a this is a real livery flying around, so it's not uh, it's it is it's out there. You got the AA dot com winglets, which are really cool. And um, yeah, this is yeah really nice rolling gears. Actually, good mold, good mold, good job, Gemma Jets. Everything looks good, proportions. Looks like they did touch this mold up. The last Gemini Jets E-170 I got uh, was uh, uh, American Eagle. I got that one, just regular American Eagle. That, that was a while ago, and a Delta Connection, and a United, I think I got them all. But uh, this one looks like they updated it a little bit. If you don't know, the E-170 is different from the E-175. Here's the E-175. The E-170s have the regular winglets. These have the enhanced winglets. And also the fuselage is a little longer on the 175, so it's uh, it has a couple extra rows. But uh, but yeah, E170 by um, American Eagle Envoy, beautiful little plane. And uh, I'll just put it next to the the other retro livery I have there. And we will get on to the United uh, Triple Seven by Angie models. Excited to see this, the see how their mold is and everything. Real excited. Building up kind of, I guess, kind of really building up all my fleets, but I'd love to have kind of hubs for, for all the airlines. I'm trying to build up my American and United and yeah, basically everybody. 
But uh, registration number November 77022. Uh, this is an ex-continental aircraft from before the merger. This is equipped with the GE 90-94 uh, engines. Uh, these are in service with the, the Pratt and Whitney ones. They're just starting to come back. But, uh, uh, but yeah, these have been in service while the Pratt and Whitney 777s have been grounded. But, uh, but yeah, looks like a nice box, cool, everything. This one is the old livery um, Star Alliance. The only difference this should have with a new livery Star Alliance would be the engine color. So that's, and maybe the font of the lettering. So for me, that was like close enough. Um, I'll get this one. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Looks looks nice from here. Let's get the top off the plastic tray. And uh, like the rest of NG's uh, wide bodies, the, it's in foam, which is really nice. I like that. Get it out there. And wow, this beautiful plane. Wow. I just uh, better let you guys see it too. Here, I'm going to put it down here, get it on the box. Wow, the wheels, even, they, even the wheels roll really nicely. Um, wow, this is a beautiful plane. This is a, I do love the 777. I think it's my favorite airplane. 777 and the Dreamliner, I love them both. Um, but yeah, there it is. There's the nose, really beautiful. Got the the nose gear and the doors there. It says 022 and E-tops. You got the L1 door, the Star Alliance logo. United logo, the big giant Star Alliance logo. And uh, this is my first United, or, or never mind, <laughs> second United Star Alliance plane. I got a 737 already. But uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful mold, actually. The the wings, uh, yeah, it looks like the right right uh, dihedral on there, not too much, like some of the other manufacturers. <laughs> and uh, sorry for the shakiness, my phone kind of gets all weirded out. But yeah, look at that beautiful, absolutely beautiful airplane focus there there's a nose and yeah and then it changes cameras like that for some reason but uh absolutely beautiful looking real nice yeah the engines engines beautiful details oh yeah beautiful airplane you got the cargo doors on the right side here uh tire almost coming off there we go i got it back on beautiful airplane all the paint's really nice just like normal ng quality um Really beautiful airplane. Really, really happy to have this. Add to my United Fleet. Now I'll have a good amount of uh, three triple sevens, I think, for United. Triple seven, 200 and two 300 yards. You just, and now I just need uh, NG to release some American triple sevens, and, and I will spend my money on those. <laughs> well, hope you guys liked the video. I'll set these up for one last shot of them. And, uh, Beautiful planes. Actually, both of them, both of them, I get a 10 out of 10. Uh, Gemini, they've been okay lately, but this one, this one's really nice, molds good. And, uh, and yeah, this NG is beautiful, beautiful. The nose might be, yeah, it might be a little too skinny near the cockpit windows. It's kind of hard to tell. It's, it, it looks nice though, but it's like, is it, how accurate is it? It's hard to tell. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at Gemini's underscore 2000. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hey YouTube, Jimmy just 2000 here, coming at you with another unboxing. Uh, I just got back from another training event, and uh, this box is here. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while, and this is probably most likely part of a compilation of unboxing videos, but uh, uh, here we are with another part of it. And uh, just open it up. I just cut the edges there, so but, uh, let's open it up. There should be three models in here. It's a pretty small box for three, though. They are, they are small, though. Oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, it looks like all three are here. Cool. Got a squeezed in there. But uh, invoice, once again, these are from Diecast Airplane Store. That's uh, where I've been ordering most of my models now. They're down in like North Carolina or up in North Carolina or Alabama. One of those places. I'm in South Carolina, so it's pretty close. Comes quick, good prices. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, um, and yeah, the main thing is it's shipping, shipping's pretty quick. And cheap, so from where I live. But uh, they've always been pretty good. But first off here, we got the American Eagle CRJ 700. These are operated by SkyWest. And I got two of them, because why not? And also I got the United Star Wars 737-800. Pretty sure this one's been repainted. Uh, so I was, wasn't sure whether to buy it or not. But uh, 
All right, but this is such a cool livery. I thought, I thought, you know, just uh, you know, might as well. I'll just, uh, it's cool. I think I'm not gonna regret buying it. So, uh, but yeah, here we are. Two American Eagle CRJs upgraded by Sky West. I'll use these as probably PSA birds, but uh, yeah, uh, PSA and Sky West operate these for American Eagle. Um, there's a the plane there. Uh, horizontal stabilizers look good. That's a good sign. And uh, look in the back. This is from a month or two ago, something like that. 2022 release. Registration number November 706. Uh, Sierra Kilo Sky West. And uh, I'll get this open. And, uh, yeah, it looks nice. Happy to have more regional jets. Happy to see Gemrides, you know, releasing more regional jets. And the second good sign is the gear are correct, uh, correctly spaced and everything. Try to get this in the good lighting. Because uh, my phone keeps blocking out the light. Um, yeah, we'll go like this. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. Uh, Skywest CRJ700. Uh, my Gemini Jets. Uh, nice model, actually. Uh, paint's pretty good. Detail's good. This mold's pretty good. The CRJ700. The 900 has some issues. But uh, they're doing pretty good. I'm trying to focus isn't, isn't too great right now. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, American, they got a lot of these. Uh, I think PSA operates like 50-something. And then, uh, and then Sky West, they operate probably another 50 or 60 or something like that. So there's a lot of them in the fleet. They fly all around the U.S. Uh, Sky West uses them on the West Coast and uh, and the East Coast in the middle. Um, while PSA is kind of just the, the Central and East, East Coast, Eastern U.S. Um, so, yeah, actually, yeah, it's a good, good job, Denver Jets. Um, all the pieces here and everything uh, fall apart. Uh, that's good, the way it should be. I'll just open up the second one here real quick. Make sure it's the same. It should be. There it is. And, uh, and once again, same thing. Good job, Gemini Jets. Um, same registration number again, 706 CR Kilo. Uh, yeah, good job, Gemini Jets. Too bad you didn't make the CRJ9 the same mold with the stabilizers actually normal. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the United here, and uh, this one's uh, by NG. Um, looks beautiful. Too bad United repainted this. Uh, registration November uh, 36272. Um, yeah, I know Alaska, they've got a new Star Wars playing out. Uh, it's actually pretty close to this, as in, you know, from far away, it's, you know, it looks, it's like dark and black, but that one has some different uh, graphics and stuff. Um, opening this up here. Um, first off, see a little stabilizer kind of off there. Um, it's bound to happen when you have this many models that, uh, something will, something will eventually break off. But, uh, that looks like, it's not like a clean break or anything. That's just, that's just kind of normal. We should be able to plug it right back in. All right, we got the little NG card thingy. Uh, I have a bunch of these sitting around. I need to probably do something with them. Um, but yeah, here's the model. And, uh, uh, first off, the paint looks nice. Paint it. Paint is beautiful. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. I'm gonna try to, uh, stick the, the wing back in here. Hold on a second. And I can stand up. Phone. Phone's being stupid. Okay, and... Sorry about that, but, uh... Here we are. Yeah, it goes in really easily. I'll probably super glue it later just to make sure it doesn't fall out again. But, uh, oh well, yeah, uh, there it is. Beautiful model, actually. This is beautiful. It's a shame uh, this is repainted. Um, pretty sure it's repainted. I thought I heard that somewhere. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong. Uh, probably not, but beautiful plan. On this side, you got blue. Um, you got the X-Wing, you got all that stuff. Star Wars logo. Registration number again. Absolutely. Oh, this is a beautiful plane. Once again, hey, I'm, I'm happy I got this model, whether it's repainted or not. Absolutely beautiful. You got the blue winglet on this side, the blue lightsaber. Uh, going to the other side, it's all red. Cool, cool. You got the red United tile, title, the red winglet, and the red lightsaber. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. I'm, I'm, once again, I'm happy I got this plane. This thing is beautiful. The bottom is just really nice, too. 
Yeah, beautiful plane. Um, yeah, I'd pick this one up. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful model, whether it's uh, repainted in real life or not. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I don't know if this is the last video of this uh, kind of uh, series or not, but uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow my Instagram at generators underscore 2000. And, uh, we'll see you guys later. See ya.